Why do you keep talking about our neighbor doing their trash? No, can? it's it's the opposite this time. It was that guy okay. took Whatever theirs right. in. What if they're now in a, that guy yeah. took his in? Well, what if they're in a constant Trade. cycle of like of like? Well, he did it for me last time, so I'm gonna do it for him this time. And they're trying to get each other. Like, ah, yeah. oh, I got here before Jerry did. I won't put his stuff away. Uh huh. Uh-huh. And then I don't think that. Yeah, but they've never spoken a word to each other. No. They just do that. Craig just no, broke I, ass. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> That's crazy. No, I hope it's a scenario where I like burritos. neighbor one, neighbor one was like, "Hey man, I'm going out for the weekend. Do you think you could bring my trash cans up from the curb?" And then the next week, he in return, he brought the trash cans back up. Mm. So now they're going back and forth, and someday they'll get married, and oh, they'll, yeah. it's they'll a, have a, a, it's a chain. Uh, they'll have a big blended family over you know the bond of bringing each other's trash cans in. That just makes me think of the. I'm doing something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the start? Yep. Oh. Yeah. For some context, I like to watch our neighbors do things. Yeah. And sometimes they do things that make me go, hmm. hmm. What are you doing out there? What are you doing out there? Your whole sentient person? Yes. Doing something? Hmm. I don't know what. I've been editing all day. Aww. Yeah. By the time this goes up, my the video is already out. But I'm editing my Tears of the Kingdom video right now. Uh, it's too long. Mm. Video yeah. essay. Yeah, and I'm like, should I just just put some nonsense footage over this just so I can get this done? And then I'm like, I can't live with myself. Yeah. Like, I I have the Elgato <laughs> hooked up to the computer with my Switch. And I've got the capture thing on while I'm editing. So I'll edit and I'll listen to a bit. And, all right. and then I open the game. I do the thing. I go back and I put the footage in. And it's like, it's really weird to be playing a video yeah, game at the I'll, same time. As I'll editing. come in here and he'll be like, I swear I'm working. It's for the video. And I'm like, <laughs> you need to just get caught. You're fine. Yeah. I get it. I think that has to do with the fact that I would do that when I was a kid. Yeah. I didn't do shit. I just played video games mm-hmm. all the time. So. Yeah, yep, that. yep. You gotta hide the Nintendo under your pillow at night. Yeah, mom, mom's coming to check SB. in. Yeah, is that what you did? Yeah, yeah. that's cool. Yeah. yeah, you can't really hide the GameCube under your pillow. <laughs> no, so. you, you certainly well, can. The <laughs> whole thing yeah. just rips off the TV. <laughs> <laughs> the TV slams on the ground. You do it with enough. You do it with enough force. You can whip the GameCube controller <laughs> over yeah. to you. Whoa. You're like, all I have to do is rip the AV cords out of the TV. The yeah. TV is heavy yeah. enough that if I rip hard enough, I might be able to get at least the, yeah. the, the video so one. So you just pull the AV out because they're in the front. And then you pu- you grab the little handle because it had a handle. And you just, you just rip back. <laughs> It'll come out of the wall. It, did, <laughs> and then, it does have a little handle. And then once you have it, whip the controllers back. <laughs> but I put pillows on the wall behind me so that when they fly back to yeah. me like right. Spider-Man, they just, they just, they make Good. no noise. Yeah. And then my mom opens the door and I've just got cords all over me. But you're asleep. It's not but enough time. Yeah. You're Assassin's Creed blending in on a bench. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, why is the GameCube in the bed? I just realized that, that to some people, younger people, they won't realize that there was a time where the cords were separated. Yeah. where there was audio and then video so if you accidentally mm-hmm. ripped out one you'd completely lose either entire <laughs> visuals or all yeah. audio or you took it not to just a, all one hdmi yeah if you took it to a friend's house and they had a weird tv <laughs> and you you're like why do you only have two yeah and then you plugged in the wrong one it was like why is it, it's black and white yeah. <laughs> like why, why is it like this and you had to, is, is it wait why like, is it the is, red one? Is it, oh let me be the more the like a sound days? technician mm-hmm. then put the in those days? things and it would whine at you to go burn you're like all right, <laughs> all right. <laughs> whoops that's the wrong one yeah. <laughs> i i really miss how simple tvs were back then i've been complaining about it all jacob week hates her. our tv i really fucking hate our tv smart tvs suck we They're just bought dog that shit TV. it's they, they i just i don't want i want a monitor i don't need Ooh, I'm going to auto detect when your HDMI is plugged in. Then I'm going to try to figure out <laughs> what it is. Our TV then, thinks that our Switch is the Xbox. And then it it's like it'll auto detect the PlayStation yeah. and then automatically load it and then go, "Do you want game mode?" Okay, I Bluetooth connected to your speakers even though you have an optical input literally plugged into it and it's like 
it, the amount of work it thinks it's doing is making more work for me. I have to go through and fix it every time because I, I got an HDMI switcher because I hate having to switch mm -hmm, the HDMI mm -hmm. from the Switch to the PlayStation when I want to use both. Yeah. And so I got a switcher because Spencer doesn't want multiple cords going up into the into the into the into the thing. Yeah. And we can only fit one thick ass cord through the wall, which yeah. is fine, but it just means I have to use a switcher. The TV is just like I don't, I don't know what this is. I'm trying to figure out what it is. And it's like, don't just figure out what it is. When it's the switch, it has a stroke and dies. Yeah. When it's the PlayStation, it's like, oh, it's fine. It's, look, wow. there it is. But for some reason, it, yeah, it's really stupid. And I, I spent like five minutes at one point just trying to record some footage. Yeah. I, and I was like, I couldn't, the TV wouldn't, I, there's no way. On this TV, I've Googled it, I've looked it up, to just go to the inputs, to just go mm -hmm. go to HDMI 1. I just want you to sit on HDMI 1. Our old TV could do it. This one's like, want to watch cable? It's free for some reason. And I'm like, no, I don't, like Conan is on. And I have to have, I have to like go back into the smart menu, which is littered with ads. And I can't <laughs> yeah. find the input. It waits That's until it auto detects free. it. Yeah. It's so stupid. What it's I the hate worst. is when I turn the TV on and it automatically turns the PlayStation on. Yeah. Because if the PlayStation if is on, the little doors to our entertainment center have to be open or it'll, you know, heat up and explode. Mm -hmm. <coughs> you good? <laughs> She's dying right now. Oh my, oh my God. Spit. But we have like this little baby thing to keep Marceline from opening it. Because mm -hmm. she'll open it and rip all of the games out um, and like the controllers and stuff. So it's got to be closed. It's just a vicious cycle. It is horrible. <laughs> and when the t when the PlayStation turns off, Jesus. the TV goes, oh, you're done. Cable. Here's cable. It just <laughs> automatically puts on the free mm, here's cable. Here's some garbage yeah. shit. To it's so it's stupid. It's like the news, but for Texas. Yeah. I watched it, the news for Texas for like an hour yesterday. <laughs> it's like in here doing the dishes. Really and you probably didn't turn the PlayStation off. The PlayStation automatically turns itself yeah. off. Turn and in here, I'll just hear like <laughs> reverberating through the wall. I'm like, what is going on? And I open the door and it's like, eh, 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 eh. like it's so fucking it loud. Is. And I'm like, Jesus Christ, the cats are like freaking the fuck out. <laughs> like, oh my god. No, the worst thing is it used to turn on to like a horror channel. And I just come downstairs yeah, and be like the stairs. fucking yeah. Baba Duke on the TV. <laughs> yeah, it was horrifying. <laughs> like old horror movies too. Oh. Yeah, which like I guess is kind of cool. It's just not for me. Like yeah. that's I'm sure that's great for somebody else. I'm sure somebody doesn't want to fuck around with the HDMI, but I don't. I want to plug yeah. in my component cords and hear, <laughs> and then hear the. <laughs> Do, 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 do. Like I don't need the fucking. Oh, I automatically turned it on for you, and well, know that it's a PlayStation for your, for your birthday. We're Would gonna you get like you a game mode on because yeah. there's too many fucking pixels for the, the this is our, to seek up audio. This is this our boomer moment. What are we calling our kids to come fix the TV? I can't find input one. Like oh input one doesn't God. exist anymore, Grandpa. I got rid of that years yeah, ago. It's just auto detect. You like, have to. Grandpa. It won't auto check the right thing. You're mm. like, are you in game mode? What's game I mode? I want cable. <laughs> Where's Conan? <laughs> He's dead, Grandpa. Grandpa, oh. you have to talk to the TV and tell it that you want to play the PlayStation. Yeah. I have one. I plugged it in. Grandpa, it doesn't work like that Put anymore. Put your iPhone VR streams. headset back on, Grandpa. No, the streams, it's pixelated. It's, it has artifacts. No, Grandpa, it's, everybody has every console now. We pay a monthly subscription for <laughs> monthly it. Subscription. It's built into the internet. It's like, I <laughs> give me my GameCube. <laughs> no, Grandpa, we pay Comcast. Comcast, Pepsi, Cola, Xbox, yeah. PlayStation. We all have one. <laughs> we, 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 we don't have Nintendo though. They're, they're still independent. Yeah. <laughs> I want the KFC. Do we have the KFC yeah. one? <laughs> the <laughs> KFC, KFC Xbox. Xbox. Oh, stupid. But yeah, oh, whatever. I should probably just get a different TV, but I don't want to do that. We just so. bought that TV. We didn't. We did. We bought that when we moved into this yeah, house. Which no, that was, that was like, like that eight, was like eight, eight, months eight nine ago? months ago, though. Yeah, not, for not, a not, TV. Not, you should need a TV for only in nine months. We're eight months in. There are already things I'm having to find and like replace. And there's something. There's something I was like, we gotta. Yeah, we I'm gotta not gonna that. replace a TV after no, 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 eight we're not, months. We're not. We're not. We're not. We're not going to. We're just gonna gonna deal with it. I guess yeah. it's just next time I get one. If this one decides to explode like our last one did, our last one didn't actually explode. It just we stopped just stopped working. working. Yeah. Um, 
I've had that one for a long time. Hmm? I want a CRT screen. All right. That's what you're getting for your birthday. I know. We talked about that during the Zelda episode that is going up tomorrow because if this goes up Monday of next week, that's true. Then that's up tomorrow. Mm-hmm. So that's the how. The second episode? Um, or the third episode? The third, episode, the third yeah. So. Yeah, well, well, that means everybody's checked that out. That was mm-hmm, really mm-hmm. super fun. I hope you guys um, liked it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it yeah, was if you do, out, like, kinda, fucking subscribe, share, or whatever. Yeah, like, kinda, comment, comment, subscribe. Follow us on bit. Facebook. Stop. What are you saying right <laughs> Join now? Join our Facebook I'm trying fan to, club. I'm trying to make it bad. <laughs> uh, the Facebook fan club? Yeah. No, do you remember the Facebook groups? Yeah. No. Yeah, that's how we used to schedule our D&D games. It that was, was Discord before we had Discord. Yeah, mm-hmm. I am the moderator to that Facebook group because everybody else left and it went, you're the only one here. Congrats. We, I really... Uh, I would just move to Discord. As like streaming too? <laughs> just stream only on Discord? I've seen I've seen a lot of people do do that I guess recently. Really? Yeah. yeah that's what I was wondering. That'd be no. I've crazy. seen a lot of people like they just only now there's a way you can go. It's essentially sub only. I don't know why I said that. It's essentially sub, sub only <laughs> subscription right. only, and you can because um, you can now have like tiers of donation things within Discord, and then people hmm. just they stream. find your profile and. Yeah, yeah. Well, I assume you. Just, I assume ours would be something similar. We would go and we just stream to Discord instead, and people would then oh. give like Twitch subscriptions through Discord. Well, shit, that's cool. That's a big thing because Twitch changed their thing to like seventy thirty years, or yeah. s- some kind of weird change. Where, but now Discord's pushing a seventy thirty. I think that's the split that people want. They're that's they're taking crazy. thirty and they'll give the creators seventy percent. Well, that's cool. That's neat. But, but, but clearly that's not what you're talking about. That's no, what I was no, no, no. Unfortunately, like YouTube message. is still messages. working out pretty good. No, yeah, just for like our group chats and yeah. stuff. Because like it's we we still use we don't use Facebook, but we use Messenger, mm-hmm. and like we just all have used that for so long. Mm-hmm. Um, but if I could, if I could get everybody to do it, I just move all of our D and D stuff to Discord and just schedule all of our shit in there. And then what everybody always says is like. Yeah, but then I can't mute. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, you can. You can mute. But then Marshall and Emma would never see it. Emma would. Marshall, Marshall wouldn't. Oh, Marshall we're trying to like move from Messenger to, to yeah. I see. Marshall's I see. lost cause. He, he'll yeah. never he'll never. We'll finish Discord. Fallout. We'll go, hey bud. Yeah. <laughs> we're moving we're moving to Discord. You have to re up for season two. You yeah. have to sign this contract that says you're gonna move to Messenger. If you or wanna keep if you wanna be in the know. <laughs> he doesn't even use Messenger. He, he, no. He, we have to we have to text Discord. Marshall. The, he has Discord. He does. He doesn't know how to use it. Because we play with him in our Discord. (laughs) Yeah, he. I think he mentioned that he had no idea what was going on or how to use it. I okay. That's that's the thing is that Marshall Marshall was trying to interact with you guys, which is like two ends of a fucking spectrum. Is like Marshall, you you went face first into something I don't think you were prepared for. But um, no, if we just treated it like our chats, I mean, we could just have name. We could just have tags for everybody. And then the tags would get you into certain chats, mm-hmm. so we could still have our private ones, but they would just all be on one server. Yeah. And then we could also have voice chats too. And. <laughs> I'm down Why for. Don't I'm you down do for Spencer? everything before Why the voice chats. Why don't you want to do that? I don't. I just don't want someone to have another way is to it call me. It's different. It is different, and I don't like it. What, another way to call you? What do you mean? I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want there to be the option of hey everyone, let's hop into a call no, no, right no, no, now. No, 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 it's it's not like it's not like Messenger where you call the whole group chat and then everybody's phone goes off. It's like you just go in the voice chat and then anybody else can go. I don't want that to be a regular thing. That would be aw- what are you talking about? That'd be awesome. Be, that's way more fun. I do it more. I just get in there and be like, yeah, I, I know. Until that's somebody's the problem. in there by themselves, and I just be like. And then I fucking leave. That's the funniest shit. That's so funny. You just hop on Messenger when you're bored, and then you you just see that that uh, what are what are Jack and Jacob doing in the in the voice chat yeah. right now? And you get in there, and you just hear like ah, ah yeah. and you just leave. <laughs> like whoa, what the fuck is happening? Yeah. It's great. It's great. You have Jack's it. number. You can call him. That's different. I, yeah. Call him up. God, what? Well, I might as well send him a, a, a letter yeah. in the mail. You should. Pigeon. It's great. <laughs> You know how weird it is to call my dearest Jack. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> to call, like going on the phone app and calling any of you guys. I do it to my family all the time because you know, yeah. But like with you guys, to be like, 
hey there. Like, you see how strange that is? If I ever see somebody calling me, I'm like, something, someone died. Yeah, something's wrong or something really important has to happen. Most like, of the time I'm calling Craig because Like, my grandma called working. me a while ago, like, over a month ago. And I was like, my dad's dead. I'm like, no, he wasn't. She just had mail. I'm like, cool, oh, cool. No. Damn. 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 <laughs> All right. I, All right. I, I do only really call one person, and it, and and it's Mia, um, yeah. because I, I'm just too lazy to like, mm-hmm. like I think it's largely because she'll wake up, go to work, and then she'll have like seven different things that have happened. Oh yeah. I wake up and I'm like. All right, I'm not gonna write a big text. I'll just call you. We'll check in, and then I'll and then one we'll, then and then we'll reset the chat. I do the yeah. same thing to Colton. I, I I most of the time call Colton unless we're casually talking, and that's yeah. just because yeah. I can't. It's the same thing. I can't be bothered. Colton's a busy yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah. And I, it's normally, it's not that it's urgent. It's just that I know I'll get your attention and I can kind of tell you what I need to tell you if yeah, I do this. Yeah, this will be easier that way. Yeah. I, I try and call Lace, but she she never answers her phone. <laughs> she, 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 she sends me to voicemail sometimes. She sends you to voicemail. She, she, she sends me to voicemail and then texts me and go, what? <laughs> I'm like, you son of a bitch. <laughs> I'm calling you. It's important. It never is. It's never important. But um, I call you all the time. Yeah. I, know. I call you when I'm upstairs. I'm like, hey. I know. <laughs> you'll, you'll call me, like, if you let me sleep in, you'll call me. I'll instantly wake up and be like, what's up? And you're like, can you come downstairs? Oh, cool. Be down. Yeah. If I try to do that to you, I'll have to call you like 17 times you for you to up wake up. Yeah, no. You can't, can't do that. All the way upstairs. Sorry, I guess I'm just deep into the, into the, into yeah. the, into the subconscious of my mind where I'm asleep. I just like to live there a little bit. Just right? that I just deep like to enjoy rim. the moment. Yeah. yeah. Basically, basically, it's what it is. you're living in the future and the past. Mm-hmm. I'm living in the. I'm living in my. Um, the bed present. Yep. The bed. <laughs> bed present. Yeah. When oh. you, this morning, when you let me sleep. Yeah. And I asked you what time she got up. It was eight thirty, and then I got up at ten thirty. Uh-huh. I legit. It was five seconds. I was like. You, you, I heard the door close and I turned over and I put my leg up because you were gone. And I, my body did that thing where I was like, oh, because <laughs> it's, it's a new position after I've been in a position all yeah. night and I just passed out. And then you were like, hey, and I was like, well, I didn't you get to sleep. <laughs> you got up and went to the bathroom. Did I? Yeah. I heard you get up, walk across. And then I heard the toilet flush and then you walk back. I don't remember that. What? Yeah, I'm no so, fucking way. No, I, it'd been like maybe five minutes. I was making her breakfast. I heard the toilet flush. No. Yeah. That that was that was yesterday. That was today. I don't like this. Mm. All right. Um, now, now, now he's living in the bed present. Yeah. yeah. There was, At least okay. you didn't piss the bed. This was all a tangent. <laughs> there was something before even streaming it, on Discord that I was going to say. Was it about the show? It was show? about Facebook. It was no, it was about Zelda. Yeah, the, the, <laughs> new, show? Say, the new show. <laughs> we're, we're doing the thing. It's new. It's fun. Yeah. I just wanted to say that it was it, we're gonna we're doing it on Tuesdays and stuff, and we're playing around. We're recording it on Tuesdays. What? Wednesdays. What? Wednesday. Tuesdays. Wednesdays. What? Oh fuck. The bed presents fucked him up. I was like <gasps> I got No. <laughs> you Jacob, wake up. You're, you've been back. asleep for years. <laughs> wake up. <laughs> Uh, it's funny how your brain works. Cause last night when hold we were that at- thought, hold that thought. Let me let me. I will never get this out. <laughs> I'm gonna tangent it again. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I, I just want to say we're recording it on Wednesdays. We're doing 30 minute increments right now. Mm, we're gonna mm-hmm. play around with that a little bit. I don't know. Jack should hopefully be on soon. But we're excited to do that because uh, that's what I was gonna say. Was uh, there's a lot of you guys I know who watch this, which is awesome. We love that you guys watch our podcast. We have a lot of fun doing it. Mm-hmm. And I was. We just kind of brought it up as like a little thing, and we're like, "This sounds super fun." There's a there's an ice cream person right there. Oh, I thought that was your alarm. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, we'll we'll see how it goes. But so far, it's been really fun. Yeah. And I I see this being a thing. Yeah. I see this being. We a gotta thing get we to my to game. Do. Yeah. Really. So. Anyways. Really though. Sorry. So far. That's all I want to say about that. Look forward to it. You were talking about I, it's, about your when you're asleep. No. What. No what's weird about your brain because yeah. you were like oh we do this on tuesdays but last night you asked your mom and maddie like would anyone be available to watch her on wednesday for like two hours and i was like i'm fried right now i've been staring at breath of the wild mm. tears of kingdom footage all day it's i understand it there's a there's a time in my week i haven't identified where 
where days just become meaningless again. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then I'm like, I don't know where I'm at. <laughs> and then it writes itself somewhere in the middle. Your body's just kind of doing shit. And you're like, I think I'm piloting this thing. I don't, yeah. I don't, I'm I don't breathing. Know. That's all I was supposed to do. Yeah. Yeah. For those of you that have been following the podcast for a while, I have a baby bird update. Yeah. yeah. There's another nest. Whoa. More. So baby birds, birds came in Competing and are birds. now in the, uh, in the old nest that those birds made. And oh. another set of birds made another nest. Oh, they're smaller they're birds. Neighbors. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I don't know if they're actually any birds in the old nest. I think maybe the new birds were just being like, hmm, can I just live here yeah. and not make my own nest? But now there's a, a, there's a little nest. That's such uh, a smart place for a nest. Yeah. Because like no. nothing's getting up there. Mm -hmm. No. Nothing yeah. at all. It's safe up there. Yeah. We told our pest control guy not to, not to spray yeah. it there. So leave them alone. They'll, they'll, they'll be fine. Yep. Um, you guys want to read some questions? I'll, yeah. I'll answer some questions. Uh, yeah. You can just ask questions on Twitter if you yeah. want, but you don't have to. Um, did you see what the what I what we put on it? We both kind of worked that one out together. So mm -hmm. let me see. Sorry, audience. If you guys want to go see it, you can go look at the. The, our Twitter. The tweet? Yep. <sighs> <Yeah>. <laughs> is that a vape? What's, yeah. he, what's he holding? He, uh, yeah, it's got to be a vape. This is terrible. Mm -hmm. Um, Marion asks, hello, cool people, and Jacob. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> you got me. Go what for the would throat. be a perfect sandwich to you all? Oh. <clears throat> we have talked about this, and, and I'm always interested to see if it's changed. Uh, oh, For sure. Oh, oh, over time. Because I'm old now. Because I used to have like a bunch of sandwiches. Now I'm like, no, nah, I like that one. That yeah. one's real good. I I really like just like bread. It doesn't really matter. It can be the good seed. It can be the Dave's Dave's nut. It can be whatever. It can be any <laughs> kind of bread. Both of those are Dave's. Um, I really like like <laughs> Dave's uh, seed, Dave's nut. Yeah, you, you yeah. pick. And then any kind of ham, any at all, mm. with some Swiss cheese, and then um. It's it depends on the day. Some days there's lettuce and there's there's maybe some mayo and some mustard in there. But maybe some days it's like it's like Dijon with some butter. Mm. And then maybe some days it's honey mustard. And then I don't know. It's so any of those things. It's, it's versatile. It's, yeah, that and then a, the other perfect sandwich is an everything bagel with an egg and some cheese. And that, that yeah. I think honestly that's it. It's just those two things mm -hmm. and some butter. That's it. That's it's perfect. It's not bad. Maybe some avocado. What 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 are you cooking with? Um, a Jimmy John's veggie sandwich. Um, you take the mayo off of it because I don't like mayo. Um, add Jimmy peppers and Jimmy mustard, and then kick and ranch. All right, somebody get that. Somebody order that was that. my least favorite Call thing. Was that they called it always Jimmy something. Jimmy yeah. peppers yeah, and for, Jimmy mustard for for the, like the three months I worked there. That yeah. that was the one thing that I couldn't. I just couldn't get past. Yeah, yeah. I was like, this is this is stupid. But they're Jimmy Jimmy, the Jimmy peppers. Cream? They're yeah. <laughs> Jimmy's this ranch. Jimmy. You, would you like some Jimmy's cream? Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds uh, like what? It's not sandwich. mayo. It's his cream. <laughs> it's his Literally. cream. How how long does it take you to do it? <laughs> <laughs> Is that cost extra? Yeah. <laughs> how much extra? <laughs> <laughs> like, sir, can I use Apple Pay? <laughs> <laughs> can I use Apple? Pay? Give cash out. Yeah, cash out. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Taco Bell and In-N-Out take Apple Pay. It's great. I forget my wallet all the time. And so I just go on. And the Good only thing I have on it, I don't use Apple's whatever. Mm -hmm. I just have my Cash App card on it. So I just load my Cash App and I'm just like, boop, there. And I'm there like, wow, go. I love the future. We've done it. Anyways, give me my CRT screen back. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite sandwich? Oh, fucking the same thing it always is. Just like a turkey and pepper jack on flatbread. Hell yeah, dude. It's that's simple. good. It's easy. That's real good. That's the thing, though, is that like I would like both of those. Mm -hmm. I would not hate that. Yep. Spinach yeah. over lettuce, though. For oh, sure. Yeah. yeah. Lettuce is yeah. garbage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Sometimes spinach is okay though because sometimes it, it falls out and it's like, well, as that leaf is on the ground now. Yeah, you pick it up and you eat it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You just, you go, you it already yeah. tastes like dirt, kind of. <laughs> yeah. It really though. Yeah. Every, what, I never spinach. What, leaf what kind of like lies dirt. were they trying to spin to us when we were kids and they were like? Kids, isn't spinach and Brussels sprouts gross? No, it's well, fucking it, like, good. It was because they were in Depression era eating out of a can. Dude, spinach out of a can's good. The 90s? What? Spinach out of a can? Fuck that up as you're, a kid. I'd eat that by itself. Yeah. No. 
Yeah, I maybe that. I was just poor. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that. Spinach out of a can is weird. It's good. Because it, <laughs> for me, for some reason, it's either slime. It is. Or slime. it's like it's like that meme where they open up a Lay's bag and there's two chips in it. Because <laughs> it's not wet and it's just canned leaves. Oh. Uh, mm. Ew. <laughs> or it's That's fucking nasty. like uh, Pippin and... Mary open up old Toby when they find it in the yeah, thing. It's just dried dry. mm. spinach. Mm. No, spinach is good. Yeah. Brussels sprouts, also very I good. I think people just did not make them. Yeah. Did. Yeah. Because you got to roast Brussels sprouts. It's the greatest fucking thing I've ever had in my life. It's, yeah. it's incredible. That and broccoli. Broccoli, I hate broccoli. It tastes like, it tastes like farts. Whack. Broccoli's great. Whack. But broccoli, Whack. if you put it in the, in the, in the oven. Uh-huh. I'll tell you, broccoli don't taste like, taste like much. It doesn't really have much of a taste in its own mm-hmm. right. It's but good. it will absorb anything you... Yeah. If you lay mm-hmm. that bitch next to anything, it'll taste like whatever it was yeah. next to. Oh, yeah. To. Broccoli can be in anything. Mm-hmm. I don't... I, ice cream. I don't give a shit. You can put it in whatever. I'll, I'll, I'll still eat it. But just... just ice like, cream? Just like a cold, right off the shelf, like... Yeah. Crunch? That's good. Disgusting. Mm-hmm. Like a veggie tray? Mm. Uh, yeah, but a veggie tray is just... All those things are just the, the, the device to put the sauce in your mouth. Yeah, exactly. That's all... Thank you. Thank you. No. It's just a giant excuse yeah. to eat some ranch. ranch. Yeah. That's all that is. It's because if that wasn't there, no, and it was so, do, if it was socially acceptable, everybody would just be drinking fucking ranch. No, <laughs> what you do is you you get your little plate, uh-huh. you dip one piece of broccoli in it. That's your appetizer, and then you put everything else on, and you walk away with that. Mm, I see. You don't. I see. I don't know. It don't ruins the flavor of the. Doing that. I, 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 I do not. prefer carrots without ranch, but uh, broccoli. I mean, all your broccoli on anything, you but broccoli slice, with ranch. You put some salami and some cheese on a plate. I'm, I'm, I become the whitest fucking person ever. I'm like, I don't like salami because it, 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 it's, it's, it feels wet. Yeah, I it feels tried wet it. And I like tried slimy. it recently. Okay, um, that's the really thin, really like pre-sliced like, salami. Like, 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 you like need to salami, have the small, thick one. I, I don't want it dry either. It's wet. It's I, not dry. I it's don't good. want it to like sneeze and chalk and evaporate. And it, no, like you have it's to, not like or, that. or it's slippery and I grab it and I feel like I've touched WD forty. It's like you bite it and it's like, oh, why is it, why is it, why is it wet? No, Why is like it a, like that? It's like, it's like and you gotta a, chew it for so long. A, be, a better no. Slim Jim. I don't like Slim Jims. All right, well, mm-hmm. that's yeah. just me, I guess. I like weird cheese, though. I love cheese. Oh, yeah, no. Uh, my favorite I... kind of cheese is the cheese where it's got it's 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 the it's it's really pungent, and then when you bite it, there's a the little crystals in it. It's oh, like, yeah. Whoa. Um, last night. I don't know what that means. Yeah. There's like little tiny little. Never yet had that experience in my life. You will. Well, it's not that you that expensive. It's just. Not I like me a craft single that's ninety percent plastic. Yeah, it's ninety percent microplastics. Get this uh, man a charcuterie board. I, I'll make you a charcuterie <laughs> board. I'm, I'm, I've known to make a, a board or two. Yeah, um, a fucking mean board. Uh, your parents made like a little cheese plate with vegetables and stuff last night when we were over there. Yes. And I ate a piece of cheese and then I was giving another piece of cheese to Marceline and she went and I was like, "That's weird." And then later I ate the piece of cheese that I had given to her. And it was a little bit spicy, and I was oh. like, "Oh, you! you I didn't know. Sp- she's never didn't had know it, it was spicy. She she's didn't like, cry. Why? She was just like, that's new. Yeah. And mm. she kept eating it, so it wasn't. Well, she's your kid. Yeah, that's true. I do like spicy food. Yep. Hot yep. Cheetos next. Here you go. Not her hot Cheetos. <laughs> I, don't that. I can't wait for her to have teeth on the top so that she can start having like more foods. Mm. Dave Baker of Killer Bread asks, which of your characters would see Barbie and which would see Oppenheimer? This is of critical importance. <laughs> I've heard that there was screenings of Oppenheimer and people saying it's horrific. Like it's a, it's a, it's akin to a horror movie. It wouldn't, it wouldn't surprise me if it was yeah. kind of terrible. Like, like terrible in like a way like, yeah. it's probably going to put me through some shit that I don't want to yeah. want to be in. Because isn't like three hours long? Oh, for sure. Probably. It's, Have you seen Interstellar? Yeah. Have you seen Inception? Yes. Have you seen... Batman. <laughs> you mean like the like, <laughs> the Nolan? <laughs> yeah, yes. Yeah, I've seen all those. Hey, these movies are already kind of like a uh, my brain. So yeah. I don't think even were ever like punishing. Yeah. You know? like, this like, one's about a bomb, so maybe <sighs> it's it is going to be like. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't, I don't know. At least for the like the Batman ones are Batman. Three it's hours. pretty, 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 pretty cut and dry. Oh, we were in hockey pants. <laughs> He does say that. It's he funny. That. It's so funny. Um, but the other ones are kind of 
I don't know if they're trippy, but they're definitely something. I, I, the, I, I really like his movies, but I, there's there's a few I haven't seen. And I'm going to make everybody go, <gasps> because, not you guys, because I don't think you give a yeah. shit, but yeah, the audience. Because I haven't seen his like, first movie. It's called The Prestige. Is that what it's called? I don't know if, I don't know if I've seen that either. I think, yeah. I don't think I've seen it, but... Mm. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. And I also haven't seen the the the, one, the war one, the one about the war, to the not Dublin. Dunkirk. Dunkirk. I oh, seen Dunkirk. I haven't seen Dunkirk, but there's a, well, there's another one called 19, 1901, 1914 maybe. Mm-hmm. It's that one with like it's only like two shots. Mm-hmm. That movie's fucking crazy. Oh, it's so movie. pretty. It's cool. Mm-hmm. I uh, uh, Colton saw Dunkirk, and his what he told me was he was like that movie's insane. And I was like, why? He said, because in the background of the movie, there's a ticking yeah. time clock the whole time. And I was like, oh, Colton, I, that's in every single one of Christopher Nolan's movies. Yeah, like, I'd sorry, ex- but I think I'd explode. that's also, it, that's a whole thing in Inception. Yeah. And then he was like, that was a good idea. I'm going to do that with all of them from now on. Yeah. And it's also in Interstellar on the planet with that, because every, yeah. the beat is to, is to time. Mm-hmm. And it's every like couple of seconds or something is like, is like a month or whatever. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Uh, I think all of my characters would go see the Barbie movie. Every single one? I think so. Probably. Eugene? Yeah. He's the only one I think does. Would go see... I don't think he'd enjoy a, a movie that loud. I think he'd just sit in the lobby. What? Okay, what about Oppenheimer's <laughs> watch, Lab? Because there's going to be a Watch Oppenheimer yeah. from like the next thing over. Yeah. Listen to Oppenheimer yeah. through a wall. Through the wall. <laughs> It's like, it's it's like those uh I mean, YouTube he's, ambiance he's blind. videos. Why he's he's not he's not going? Yeah, to he's movies. not watching it. I guess Yo, that's a fair point. I think I feel like half of the fun of Barbie will be the how, color. The yeah, colors. he's sitting in the lobby. He's not going. I in. think he's gonna listen to Oppenheimer and hear about how the lore. <laughs> the the, war? I haven't seen the movie. I don't <laughs> it's like it's war. About. Wars never change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Kazira, he mm-hmm. has he has like five daughters, so I guess he's forced yeah. into he's it. He's going yeah. to see the Barbie. Yeah, forced. <laughs> yeah, he's like this is for my kids <laughs> so are you wearing the Barbie promotional jacket from Hot Topic no <laughs> of all your characters if we if we're on the Oppenheimer Barbie spectrum here yeah. Kazira and Eugene are definitely in the, mi- yeah. towards the middle but they'd still all go see the Barbie movie though yeah. oh, I'm standing by that except for Eugene he's not going I'm trying to think I'm trying to think Philip yeah or Marcia I guess um. Yeah, I guess you're right. I guess you're right. I think mine are all seeing both. I, I, I don't. Both I, I, don't I don't know if either of them. I don't know if any of them particularly swing one way or the other without me. Do which do they see first? Uh, because that was a debate I was seeing recently. Which it's one? Like they both first? come out on the same day. Which one are you seeing first? I would first? assume Oppenheimer's first because in the bar movies it will be the palette. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. That's yeah. what I was saying. To bring joy For back sure. into the world. Yeah. yeah. And not I've become death. Yeah. <laughs> Huck? Yeah. It'd be, it'd be traumatic yeah. if anything. Yeah. Probably shouldn't. Why would he go watch <laughs> that? I'm a toy. Howdy. <laughs> <laughs> howdy, howdy, howdy. Uh, Lazarus. I'll tell you, see, that's the thing. Both. Like, first you have to you have to get the character to care about seeing the movie and then yeah. second of all it's like uh i don't know <laughs> yeah it's both or neither i yeah. think that's where where it just splits down the yeah. middle for me yeah yeah ari and ira are seeing barbie and tiff and sheena are seeing Op- <laughs> yeah, there you go that's that one makes sense yeah oh, that's what about all your characters i don't know jason seeing barbie uh, and Kara's <laughs> all the Jasons are <laughs> no. saying Barbie. All the Jasons in yeah. every single one. J- I'm J- Barbie. Yeah, J- Jason booked an entire yeah. theater for all the variations of Jason. Jason's already calling yeah. Ken, so I mean, yeah. yeah. Uh, He's uh, just Ken. <laughs> all of them sitting in the, the <laughs> yeah. like chains on there. Um, I don't know. I think Tara's probably seeing Barbie. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Sly. So you be like, oh, that, that, looks, that looks like a lot. Like a lot. No. <clears throat> so we're all going to see Barbie, right? Although I think Damon's saying up and <laughs> Yeah, Go that on. tracks. Go on. <laughs> He's just like, no, please. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's funny. 
Yeah, the entire party is seeing Barbie, and David's like, aww, Aww. and he reluctantly goes to Barbie, but he wanted to see Oppenheimer. (laughs) Kyrie seeing Oppenheimer. God damn it. (laughs) All right, well, that was a good question. That was funny. No, for Um, real, though, I want to go see the Barbie movie. Yeah. (laughs) Sarah Bella is working the concession stand. Yeah. 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 I pirate it and read. Yeah. <laughs> You're Projected like, on something it. else. Yeah, yeah, I've already seen it. <laughs> uh, Zav creator of Dindy Waifus. Excited for the Zelda Let's Plays. I have some questions, though, about them. What games are already in the lineup? How far out have you recorded? Will it be long for... Okay, I'll, edit, I'll ask you all these in just a second. Did you record the camera? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I didn't see... You d- yeah, you did. You're smart. I'm just sorry. I got paranoid you know what, no, about you it. Know what, now, now, now's a good time. Cloud Sync. <laughs> The ready, minute ready for the 35 minute mark? Yeah, classic, classic? yeah. All right. Uh, That's my only note. Okay, excited for Zelda Let's Plays. I have some <laughs> questions about them. What games are already in the lineup? Right now, Pop up. we want to play all of them. We're starting with Ocarina of Time. I'm saying we want to because we do not have well, a good track record. All, all of them that can be recorded through Ronald Legato, that won't be a giant pain in the ass. There yeah. you go. So there, there's, some right sh- now, there's already some ones that are going to get lobbed off. Yeah. Yeah. Right now, it's looking like we... Okay, we don't want to play every single Zelda yes. title. That's yes. the thing. We're looking at the 3D, m- m- the mainline fucking Zelda games. We're starting with Ocarina of Time. Yeah. We want to do Ocarina of Time, Wind Waker... Uh, sorry, Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, Wind Waker, Twilight Princess, Skyward Sword. Yes. When, and then I, I'd i like to do Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. I don't know why I put a line there for some reason, but well, right probably now... Probably because those are... I was talking about the other day where I think it's... That may be a question on what that looks like after all the other ones are done. Yeah. Because those are so large. Yeah. That it maybe it's not are we doing it? It's more about who's doing it. And yeah. maybe it's run like, like like a Dark Souls where you die, you yeah, pass you off or pass something. It on. I can't because, love because that. the game yeah. is significantly longer. I, At least not necessarily the plot is, but yeah, yeah, the, yeah, the, the, the space I is. I saw like a, a comment on the the little trailer thing of people asking like who's playing the game. Yeah, so um, I, I, I'm, I'm going to talk about that in a second. But I just wanted to look at the future of it and be like, I know we don't have like a super... I keep... Whenever we start something new, I'm like, we might, we may be, because yeah. I don't I don't know yeah. if it continues. Because sometimes things like the podcast latch on and we do it forever. No. And then we have a weird schedule with it. Yeah. Or um, we do our streams and those are incredibly consistent. So no. right now, from what we're starting with it, just to also answer the question of um, how far out have we recorded... We've done two. What we're doing is we're recording on Tuesday nights, and Wednesday we nights. are. God damn it! We record on Wednesday nights, mm-hmm. and we record for about two hours, yeah. and we do thirty minute segments, and then we stop, and we keep going for thirty more minutes. I think I already want. I want to bring it up to you guys, and maybe think about doing an hour instead. Yeah. But I just want to see how that looks in terms of content. We're still trying things out. Is mm-hmm. is the thing we we don't know what this looks like yet. We're kind of finding our footing with it, but the plan is to continue that, and then. Um, uh, 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 we recorded, we've done two weeks already. So we've done two, two hour sessions. So we have eight episodes right now that are mm-hmm. done, um, that are going to go up on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Mm-hmm. And there will be two episodes each, each, each Peak. day. Yeah. And they'll, they'll premiere as well. So if you guys kind of want to be in the chat and hang out and yeah. stuff, we, we wanted to do that. Yeah. That. So, um, yeah. Anyways, uh, then, um, will it be long form, full playthroughs or edited down highlights and moments? It's a full playthrough. So yeah. that I did do the edited moments yeah. on the, on the and Maybe at the end of the games, like when we yeah, finish. we'll make like a highlight yeah. thing or something like that. Cause there were some good moments and I, I liked making that little like mm-hmm. thing, but yeah, no, it's, it's not trimmed down. It's just, it's literally just us sitting there and playing through the game. Mm-hmm. Um, so for Ocarina of Time, Mia is playing Ocarina of Time. We thought that we, instead of doing a changing every um like time somebody yeah. dies or every 15 yeah. minutes like we've done in the past i think we wanted to kind of capture this idea that we had been doing in the past which was um we just ha- hang out and play video games yeah. in the same room and there was and we all really enjoyed watching one person play and so i think we wanted to keep that um and then maybe it changes as we get more used to it like when we get to later games like maybe breath of the wild and tears of the kingdom we can change that yeah. but that's so yeah. far down the road yeah, absolutely you know but like right i think for this it's like we want one person but for each game so we, we each chose one me is going to do ocarina of time jack's going to do majora's mask mm-hmm. uh christ's going to do wind waker you're going to do twilight princess because yeah. you've never played it which is awesome oh, um I? and i'm going to do skyward sword so yeah that's that's our current uh, that's what it looks like right yeah. now and we're super excited. It looks fun. And then, I don't know, maybe after that we do Resident Evil or something. Because we floated that yeah. idea. But 
I, I mean, if if that's true, it's in it's in like two years. Yeah. So <laughs> we'll see. Um, unless it just becomes crazy, crazy popular. Yeah, it comes really going to turn what 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 the is. Yeah, like if that if that returns like nuts, which I don't think it will, but if it does, then um we'll just become game grooms and we'll just yeah. we'll just start doing that shit. So we'll see. Um, but yeah. Um, thanks for asking. Summer in a Locked Tomb asks, do you have a favorite card art from the Lord of the Rings set? Uh, I like Elrond. I don't know. I think <laughs> I just you like, know that, I do just you have a like, card art? Uh, <laughs> um, I like, um, there's that one that you, you brought up the other day. This like, um, all the hands reaching up for the rings. I was just about I don't to know. say that one. I'm trying to find it right now. What it's called, um, It's a blue card. I'm going to find it because it's my, it is my favorite card art that I've seen. And it's also like one of my favorite Lord of the Rings I arts like I've ever seen. the one of Aragorn. Yeah. I can't remember. Oh, the, Press uh, the Enemy is one of my favorite ones. Um, it's him holding hmm. the, holding, uh, the Palantir. Uh, Anduril to, to the Palantir. Um, and it is called, what is the name of that card? What's, what's the oh, name? Oh, it might be a commander one. What's the name of the, the, Ar- the Aragorn card that's in the pre-con? The... Let me look really quick, because I have to now search, what is it? CLR? What's the set code? Well, Ugh. I, I would search, but Ugh. my phone Just gotta off. search through the thing now. Um... Is there is there another card art that you, uh, you like? King it? of Gondor mm-hmm. is what you're talking about. Got it. Can you tell me what the set code is? Uh, I have no idea. Uh, LTR. That's Lord of the Rings. That's what's the commander one? Oh Christ! Who knows? <laughs> um, Hello. Let's see. Lord. Uh, LTC. LTC. Thank you. Those ones are always so strange. Oh, my phone's at one percent. Your phone is always at one percent. Um, you don't mind? Actually, a lot of the commander ones are really super cool. The Aragorn King of Gondor one. Yeah, I like that one. Yeah, Aragorn King of Gondor is is, is very very cool. Um, uh, I really like. Where is it? Gonna find it, guys! I swear. Oh, there's another Denethor card. That's cool. Yeah. Uh. I swear it was a blue card. It is a blue card. Whoa, that was really cool. Three rings for the Elven Kings. It's uh, that's the really baby really birds awesome. Are here. Whoa! All right, there's tons of card art I haven't seen yet. So holy shit, I've not. Yeah, because we still haven't opened all of our cards. Yeah, I'm sorry. Someone we will. Someone We're, has we, to we savor it. Someone okay? has to like work a job. Yeah, I'm yeah. sorry. <laughs> Oh, 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 there it is. Boon of the Wish Giver, which is a reprint, but it that is my favorite card art, is, yeah, is Boon really of the cool. Wish Giver, mm. the, the one they did for Lord of the Rings. It is so, so goddamn cool. Hey, Craig. Yeah, I don't know if I have a particular favorite, but I do like, um, I don't know if they're like pulling from like half Watsy traditional artists and then half from like other artists that maybe have done Lord of the Rings content before. Mm-hmm. But there's a lot of new artists, so it's cool to see the, it's really cool. the like diversity in it. There's a lot of really cool arts that... That's super cool. I don't know if we're going to get... Again, I hope it's more people that are just, like, newer artists that are working with um, Watsy and not, like, like a one-time off, but there's a mm-hmm. lot of really cool art. Mm-hmm. That's cool. That's really cool. I I mean, it has to be. There's no way that they that they get them to do a card and then don't, you know? If, yeah. It's a good way for them to, like, test and see if Yeah, I hope so. That like. that, that's where um, one of Mia's favorite artists, Maggie, comes from. Not Lord of the Rings, but I thought that was... I thought that was a different photo. I thought that was like a. I was like, "Oh my god!" Mia just sent in a the picture chat? that uh, she got a new steady hand. And she took a picture of it, and <laughs> it was pretty zoomed out. <laughs> Craig's panicking. <laughs> Are you like, whoa? Um, yeah, lots of lot. The art of, of the of the Lord of the Rings set is extremely cool. So, yeah. Um, uh, I'm just gonna bring that up real quick. A lot of people asked where my cardigan was. From the last episode, it's from Steady Hands. Yeah, um, it's yeah. very very cute. It is very cute. Their cardigan week will be over by the time this goes yeah. up, but you can yeah. always try next time. Um, Happy Wolf asks, "You have mentioned before that you've tried out Pathfinder 2E. Is that something you've 
considered streaming or oh, maybe a XP question. level three video and also Bazinga. Um, <laughs> we are going to play Pathfinder. Yeah, uh, so Jack's going to be running a new campaign on our Friday games. It's um, sort of taken over our Avnia slot because we finished Avnia. Mm-hmm. He's going to be running Eberron. Mm-hmm. Um, we're going to be in the city of Sharn. And he is running Pathfinder 2E. And we've been learning it. And it's super cool. So mm-hmm. I don't know much about it yet. I'm learning a lot about it. I think I will make an XP video about it at some you point. Should. Because I really, really like it so far. Mm-hmm. But um, the, that's just first impression. My first impressions are I love it, like, a lot. More than I thought I would. Yeah. And, um, yeah, so we'll see. But we are going to stream it. So if you guys want to watch us play some Pathfinder, that starts up next month. Yeah. Yep. Next month. Um, right, right now, our tentative plan is the 21st of July is episode one of Everon. That's so cool. seriously, come check it out. Everybody's characters are so cool. We have this new. We we did. We also got a yeah. new artist. Yeah. Tapping and in some new yeah, veins. His name is his name is Julio or Julio, and he is knocking it out of the park with these. Yeah. They seriously Your look amazing. Your art's done. Mine's done. Jordan's, Jordan's is done, done, and they look so and good. Jack said the last update was my character is getting color now. So yeah. I'm like, yeah. So it's really cool to see like just every like Jack went out and and he was like, "Can I find the artist?" And I was yeah. like, "Please, please do it." So I'm I'm glad that we're we're having this right now and we're getting to can, you know have cool can we say what classes we're playing? Uh yeah, what are you playing? Spencer? I'm playing a sorcerer. Yeah, I'm playing a rogue. And sorcerer and pathfinder is actually fun. Yeah, rogue's super cool. At least Originally, it... I was gonna play gunslinger, but I changed to rogue. I didn't change my character very much. Yeah. I um, changed Jack just let me have a gun, and then <laughs> well, mm-hmm. forever on it's like a it's like a it's like a wand gun. Yeah. But it I made it look like a gun and. Yeah. Um, yeah, so, and then the rest of you guys can find out. Yeah. Find out what's going to happen, so, yep. I like how the spell system works in Pathfinder. Yeah, me too. And I really like the action system. Yeah, it's yeah. nice. There's Honestly, there's a lot about Pathfinder 2E that well, I, guess, I legitimately had not played and was like, wow, there's a lot of similarities to Fallout. This yeah. is really cool. I guess that is what I should say, is I like the action system, because based on how many action like points you yeah. use for spells, they do yeah. different things. Yeah. I think that's really cool. Love that. Yeah. Steal that. For Steal that. Something. For something. Um, which, uh, Glorza 9. First off, Bazinga to you, to good sir. <laughs> and one for the goblin in the back. <laughs> I'm excited for the Zelda stuff. What made you want to do something like this? Oh, I already kind of said, uh, um, I, we, I kind of got back into Zelda by playing Tears of the Kingdom. Mm-hmm. And uh, mm-hmm. I make, I, you've, I've already made a video about it. So go watch my 30 minute video about, about that. And then we were playing video games together and we were like, this is fun. We should record this. And ev- like, so, I think somebody said it as like a joke. Uh, but then we were all like, that Let's sounds do really that. fun. We should do that. Oh my <laughs> God, we should do that. Yeah. And then like, it was super cool too, because like we all left and then y- you and Mia both texted me and were like, I'm serious. I'm serious. We should do that. I was no. like, okay, okay. We will. <laughs> I was like, cool. This will be really fun. So uh, yeah, yeah. We, we were really excited about it. Um, and then, uh, and cool rules or tidbits. Uh, oh, oh, sorry. And cool rules or tidbits you would like to share with the class. Cool rules or for, tidbits. For Zelda? For Zelda. Like a fun fact, maybe? I don't know. You had that fun fact about the stick. Yep. Stick does more damage. Yeah. You can kill you can kill Goma and two little things if you use stick. Yeah. That's it. If you if you use the stick. Yep. In Ocarina of Time. Mia had some trouble mm-hmm. using the stick. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we you watch the trailer. Right. I guess it's I guess it's out now. But. It's gonna be so funny when we go from because we're playing Ocarina of Time on yeah. the Switch. So it's a it's an emulation of the N sixty four. Right. And so will Majora's Mask. But when we go from that to the what Wii we're U. planning on is doing HD Wind Waker. Yeah. It's going to be such a quality jump. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, we'll probably do HD Twilight Princess because yeah. it's unfortunately just a little too hard to record those on like a fucking Wii yeah. or a GameCube or something. So, I mean, I would if we could, but it's it's It's, it, it's just, just better to get it to get it out there than to... Yeah. And I would, authenticate. I would say I would do 3D Zelda, um, uh, Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask, but fucking emulating a DS. Yeah, impossible. Yeah. I know there's ways that we you can you can upgrade an emulated Ocarina of Time on the PC. That's a lot of work, and mm-hmm. I don't want to do that. And it was easy to just get in the Switch. So, yep. <clears throat> yep. Um, but yeah, HD Wind Waker is awesome. Oh, and then they also said, uh, thanks for making me smile when I need it most. Oh. Bazinga to you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's very sweet thank you some guy which campaign of yours would you turn into a graphic novel 
Ooh. a graphic novel. Hmm. Ooh. And which PC would be the main character? Okay, graphic novel is different than show. Yeah. I would totally yeah. make even fall a graphic novel. That'd be sick mm -hmm. as fuck. That or Fallout. But I've already said Fallout, Fallout would, would probably be, be my TV show yeah. pick. So if I was to do an animated show, it'd be that. But gra yeah, yeah, definitely uh, even fall would be awesome. Mostly because I've just been seeing a lot of fan art that Kathy has been doing in the Discord. And, and it, oh, uh, mm -hmm. oh, it's so good. It's so good. That's the art stuff. That's it. Whatever, whatever that is. That It's sort of grungy. Mm -hmm. It's kind of, it's, a, a, yeah, it's real sharp. I love that mm -hmm. shit. Yeah, you're my favorite. I love that. What about you? Ice window. Yeah. Oh, fuck, that'd be good. Ditto. That'd be really good. Mm -hmm. Ditto for that one. Yeah. That's a good choice. That's a good choice. I think, and I think anyone as the main character in that would be neat. I think Sildri would be a little hard because she comes in later, but. Yeah. Mm hmm Oh, you mean like somebody's the, somebody's the main well, they, character? They asked yes, who they would asked. be the Oh, main and who character. would be, sorry. Yeah. I didn't even think about that. For even fall, I'd make it Philip. That'd be a little hard though, because he's, he's gone for a bit of it. I'd take Kurt. Mm. Solid. That's it. Yeah. yeah it's Kurt. Or It'd Phelan. be a cool, like a, yeah. like a, maybe like a, if there were to be like a spinoff or like what was happening during this point, you could change perspectives, go to like Philip or, or Sildre. Yeah. Be like, what were they doing while these things were happening? I'm just kidding. I'd pick Phelan. Yeah, that's a good one too. Yeah. Um, for Icewind Dale? I, Kazira is a good, I think Kazira's so too. good choice. I, I think Kazira is probably one of the best. Mm -hmm. If not, I think it would depend on how it was written. Because I yeah. think, yeah, Emulation's backstory is too hard not to have like a really cool, yeah. like start with a flashback oh, yeah. and then come into that. I was about to say, Emulation but works really I think good. both yeah. of those are really solid mm -hmm. picks. I think it'd be, it'd be neat too, to do like how Critical Role did the, like the origins where they're like short. Yeah. That'd, yeah. Be, that'd be a neat way to do like backstory stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's interesting to think about like, if you're going to make something a thing and then pick the, the main character. Mm -hmm. Cause I, I don't think I would do that. But like mm. that's just an interesting thing to think yeah. about. Yeah, that's kind of what a little bit of what Critical Role's talked about when they like switch it over to the animated series. They yeah. kind of like really do that, pick yeah. who was going to be the main kind of thing in this moment or God in this season or whose story. Like the arcs kind of, and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, and so that was kind of a cool idea going who's who's going to kind of really. Can already imagine this. like a page where it's like some ten towners are acting up on a thing and you guys are having a rough time in like a tavern mm -hmm. and it turns the page and it's a full page yeah. and it's it's Lazarus and his face is unhinged mm -hmm. um just to like like drive in like the the horror of like mm -hmm. his body and then the next bit is their reaction and it's just like it like strikes fear into them like fuck that'd be so sick yeah, I think Icewind Deal is one of the better ones primarily because of how like the terrain itself would lead itself so easily into mm -hmm. You're right. the art yeah and I also think that um the visage of oral is uh, yeah. would be perfect in any yeah. rendition you jar yeah. in yeah mm -hmm. her flying around whatever it's just the color of like the that, yeah that little shit bird yeah, yeah. it's a bunch <laughs> of fucking garbage i mean it's just yeah. everything about it's very very graphic novel hell yeah, yeah. you're so i never even realized that That's very mm -hmm. cool. you're so right holy mm -hmm. shit i That's think cool. kazira fits better artistically i think i love emulation she's very round <laughs> but but I think I think you have a lot of really cool dramatic shots with like Kazira like dropping down on someone from like a ceiling and like oh, the whole yeah. background's oh. blacked out and it's just like his face face oh, like lit up by like someone's torch. Yeah, fuck that's and you're like, cool. That's cool. Him Got with fangs, his his, yeah. his fur coat just has a mm -hmm. lot of very good color and then you could do a lot of really cool angles and shadows. Yeah. And Fucking uh, Trevor right. Belmont. Someone yeah. do that. <laughs> yeah. Someone It'll be us. You, we that'll can't. Be, that'll be our Kickstarter. We can't. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We'll do. We'll, we'll do an, graphic novel. An eight-page comic. Yeah. Eight page. <laughs> eight-page comic. Oh, man, get every so three cool. months. Yeah. Wow. I never thought about that. Never thought about how much that that campaign really did lean into the idea of being like the style of a graphic novel. Mm -hmm. oh. You can even do it like Sin City, where it's all black and white except certain things that yeah. emphasize it yeah. real well because it's all like whited out by like the yeah. snow and stuff. That's so, very oh cool. my God, that's so cool. Shade mm -hmm. and only like light blues because of the ice. I mean, mm -hmm. it, it, you could really do it. Oh. Okay. It just visually fits very well. Yeah. God damn it. Make his zero's eyes red. Yeah. yeah. And. Do it. I don't like that. Do I it. Like fucking that imagine like, <laughs> I fucking imagine like looking through like the little crack when Gazira's looking through and technically oh, yeah. burst oh. through. <laughs> yeah. How cool that would look. That's my, how my tattoo, I'm getting it in, yeah. in August. Full or like a full page yeah, bit yeah, where yeah. it's um it's the uh, you guys stand on like the edge of like the like the ice 
mm. and it's the Chartland dragon in the distance. Yeah. It's just like just blasting a fucking. Ooh, it's scary. awfully cool. It is awfully cool. Man, that'd be so. It cool. was. <laughs> I'm thinking about so much yeah. shit now. Great question. Oh my God. Great question. Wow. All right, Panda in a uh, uh, in plate mail. Wait, hang on. What the fuck? Yeah, Panda in plate mail with a sword. Mm-hmm. If you made a deck of many things, but each card was inspired by a player character from Arcane Arcane, mm-hmm. what would each card uh-huh. do? That's funny. By a player... Oh, a character. A character. Mm-hmm. That's funny. Um, 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 so, uh, Philip or Lazarus... No, no. Um, Huck has to be uh, Don John. I don't know what that means. It's the one that puts you in the dungeon. And you can't get out without oh, a wish yeah. spell. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, I was going to say Lazarus, but I think it fits Huck and Ace more. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, I think um, the one that gives you like a ton of XP and like levels you up and you get a bunch of cool stuff. It, it's like it, the Son or can, something. Can, can you repeat the question again? If if you made a deck of many th- Oh, s- sorry. never. It's the opposite. Austria, if I'll you made a deck of many things, but each card was inspired by a player from Arcane or Kid, which would each card do? So it's not it's not which mm-hmm. one is associated with which one. If it's like if you made if you pulled a like the card, whatever what card, what would it, what would it do? Would it do? Ah. That's interesting. These are so fucking cool. Oh, this is the deck of many things yeah. one. Yeah. yeah, it's the animated one. Though. Uh, sorry, the animated yeah. deck. Yeah, the deck of many. Oh, so cool. Did you show them off? Or? I found those in like a bag when we were yeah, messing with. And I was like, these yeah. are so cool. They're super super cool. This one, avoid. Oh, that's, this that's one. awesome. It's scammer. <laughs> or it looks like scammer now. Oh, that's fun. Um, hmm. What would uh, if you had a deck card? If you pulled, if you pulled the the Lazarus card. I mean, it's probably something akin to like you switch alignments. Yeah. You'd probably be like lawful evil. Yeah. Or um. I can imagine like two of your limbs become like metal or something like that. Yeah. And there's a lot of like things like there's a lot of ideas of people like visually and like the cards are just turn them into stuff like becoming like a or slot. Or to be indicative of their story. I think that would be cool mm-hmm. too. Because what would also be cool for Lazarus, it would be like you, um, you, you like forget a portion of like your memory and you like yeah. D level or something like that. Be cool. So, and you become, you're basically, you're same body, but you're somebody new. Yeah. Um, kind of a hard reset. Yeah, that that's happened a lot with my characters. Now I think about it, <laughs> kind of a hard reset. A little bit. Yeah. It's supposed to be a rule booklet in here. At least with Lazarus, it was in the backstory. Cerebella just oops, yeah happened. Exploded. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of similar to Branch too, but that's a backstory thing too. Oh, that's cool. Kind of like a hard reset, to some degree. Hmm. I was I, I was talking to her about it. I was really trying to like I'm not struggling with it. It's yeah. just I I constantly am thinking about story and stuff like that and i'm tr- like i'm trying to it's funny we have like three different iterations of this like archetype in arcane arcade that mm-hmm. i'm trying that are in my games that i'm trying to make try really hard to make different yeah um, and they are different which is good but it's always funny when i talk to her about it i'm like hope this doesn't sound too much like this because um it's we've got lazarus and then huck and ace and then stella and stalwart and mm. um, it's the idea of another person being in their head, yeah. um, which is awesome. And I love that. But um, when I uh, uh, it's it's been an interesting thing to write and it's been fun to like think about and be like, OK, how do I make this one different than this one over here? Yeah. And it's cool because I, I don't want to say because spoilers, but like there's been ways that we've been like differentiating mm-hmm. them and being like, what's cool about this is that it's different from Lazarus yeah. because it's like this. And um, not that I'm, you know, intentionally trying to do that or no, anything. No, but it's important to keep diversity and make everything feel fresh. Exactly. Because I don't want Lazarus' story to just feel like it's Huck's, but again. Or yeah. no, sorry, Huck's story to feel like it's Lazarus's, but we just did it again. Yeah. Um, or anything like that. So it's cool. It's, it's, and it's, it's really cool too, because it's a new trope that like, I feel like you guys have sort of like brought in mm-hmm. that I've never really got to see in like, especially like D&D stories before. Yeah. So it's really, really cool. And I love it a lot. What happens when you pull the Philip card? I don't know. He gets struck by lightning. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I like the idea like, oh, you pulled the card. You get struck by lightning and you're killed. Yeah. <laughs> Some of those are like Damn. that. You're, you're, yeah. you're just dead. It's just called bad luck. I think it'd be cool if it was like, if you were 
possessed by something, you're no longer possessed by it. But if you aren't, then you become possessed. Yeah, I like getting struck by lightning. All right, get str- you get struck by lightning. Yeah. Oh, man. If you pull the Phelan card, you just you just get stabbed. Yeah. <laughs> You pull the Kazira card, a bat just bites your okay. leg. You become a vampire. You're like, no, no, ow! No, you're fine. It was just the the it's the, it's like they're the mm-hmm. it's the it's the physical in, in, uh, iterations of of each one mm-hmm. uh, uh, of of what would be the manifestation of 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 their power and wrath. You pull the Kurt one, and you your dad becomes mm-hmm. the villain of the campaign. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just damn it, damn. <laughs> You pull the Lamarcia one. You just there's a fucking uh, there's a sniper. (laughs) 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 Um, Colleen asks, "Hello, hello, hello. I've been playing a lot of Stardew recently, so I have to ask Spencer, do you play the game with mods?" Uh, I have, but I normally just play on my Switch. If and if yes, which ones do you like? Um, (laughs) I (laughs) put. Also, sorry for no question last week. I was hella drunk and missed the tweet. Love y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Colleen. Um, I <laughs> hella drunk. I like the the Stardew expanded mod. It's pretty fun. Um, I I normally like the the mods that just add things. I don't like all of like the this is how you cheat everything into the game type of mod. But mm. um, there's one that changes what the cats look like. And you can have like a black cat, That's and I cool. like that one because we have a black cat. Mm-hmm. Um, we have three of them. We do have three of them. Um, yeah. That's cool. Mm-hmm. That's cool. You know, one that gives you like a motorcycle. That's cool. Uh, I think I think it turns the horse into a motorcycle. Yeah. That's cool. Do you know what she showed me yesterday? I can only assume a motorcycle of some kind. No, she turned her switch and she she went and she just made this face. She sorry, audio listeners. She made a horrified look. She went and I looked over and she was getting a submarine. <laughs> <laughs> like, <hey>. <laughs> <laughs> I had to catch some fish before yeah. before we started. I caught one of the legendary fish, and I was very proud. Yeah. yeah, and I said, "You play that game like it's an MMO that you gotta grind." Yeah, I do. I have to catch. I gotta catch all the fish. You catch all the fish, you get a star drop. It's important. I want it. Nat was here. Uh, says finally got through this hellish year with all A's, baby. Fuck yeah. Yeah. Congrats. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. Also, did you guys have any shows or movies that you got your tears... <laughs> My tears what? Jerked. Jerked? What do you, what those guys also, are saying? do you guys have any slow... Show, <laughs> slow? Oh, damn. Do you have any shows slash movies that got your tears jorking it? Jorking <laughs> <laughs> it? For me, it's the end of Adventure Time or Cyberpunk Edge Runners. Craig Bazinga. <laughs> No period. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, it just, it's just part of the sense. <laughs> they attached an image, and it's a tweet that says, "In the stripped club, straight up jorking it." And it, haha. Well, let's just say my my, my peanuts. <laughs> my oh, peanuts. In the strip club, straight up jorking it, and by it, ah, ha, ha, well, let's just say my penis. <laughs> Can you send me that? That's Holy great. Shit, that's funny. Um, movies or TV shows? <laughs> so what's a question? <laughs> <laughs> what's got your tears jorking it? Um, oh, specifically, TV show or a movie? <laughs> oh, fuck me. That oh. that just I, I I Emma has this meme that she sent me that's just a car flying into a river and it says when My I finally friend. get and we can't stop fucking saying that. You it's were like, saying it like all day get. the other day and now it's seeped into my brain. <laughs> um, uh, so many things. I, I, I cry at everything. Um, um, it's on my mind. Interstellar made me cry. Um, that movie gets my tears dorking it. <laughs> Lord of the Rings always gets my tears. Mm-hmm. Siphons them right out of my body. Um, I, I watched know. the Lego movie recently, yeah. like like recently, like, oh. like last week or the week before, mm-hmm. and, I, and I did cry that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's very sweet. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the, the, the ending's very nice. Yeah, mm-hmm. it is very nice. It's surprising. Yeah, that mm-hmm. movie always surprises me. I'm like, it's a good what? movie. Mm-hmm. It is. Yeah. I don't know what makes me cry. Uh, hang on. Let me think. I'm trying to make you cry by making you watch something. We've been very opposite lately. Uh, you don't really cry at much anymore, and I'm over here like... Yeah, we swapped. 
Yeah, it's really weird. Mm. Oh, Juno. Juno will make me cry. Mm -hmm. yeah. I saw a clip on it on TikTok the other day. When we were watching all the Pixar movies, did you cry at any of them? Uh, up. Yeah. Um, but the beginning or the end? I think both. Yeah, me yeah. too. It was also both. Um, I only mm. cried. I, I knew I wasn't going to because I've seen it before and I'm like, I know what this is and mm. it's not going to hit me as hard. And it wasn't that I was like, oh, I'm dead now and it's going to hit different. It no. was my, 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 my dad's mom had just passed away when we watched that. We were all just sobbing. Oh. Like it was, yeah, yeah. Um, we watched... Um, Guardians three, and fuck that. There's, there's, there's some, there's some parts that were in. like, mm -hmm. the, oh, yeah. Sorry. What no. what what? <laughs> it was the, jorking it again. Yeah. <laughs> You're jorking it in the theater, dude. <laughs> there's some parts in that that I, that were yeah. that the, were rough. The, the, like, like points, I was like, I gotta get the. I was like, this is too. Yeah, this too is much. too much. I get the fuck the out of here. With with Drax at the end, where yeah, uh, oh. Yeah. Got me. I was like, Spoilers, I was good I the entire time. That fucking broke me. I was like, yeah. uh, I, I think I cried when um, when they're trying to revive Rocket and he's and yeah. like Gamora basically kind of gives up on him and Peter doesn't. And mm -hmm. then he comes back and he's like, like screaming. I was, mm -hmm. yeah, I was fucking gone. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> that was crazy. It yeah. is. It's very good. It was yeah. Also, really it, good. it was also different because um, the songs they pick are bangers mm -hmm. for sure. But ending on Florence the Machine mm -hmm. is like the transition into a newer generation of song, of like yeah. genres of stuff. Yeah. It's so that was so nuts because I was like, that's not a song that's like, oh, this is good. I don't know it. Now mm -hmm. it's like, oh, I don't know why the fuck I didn't see this one coming considering yeah. I, uh, this is a very cool, good song. Yeah. yeah. There was like a, a sense of like connection yeah. that you mm -hmm. had with it at the end. And it was like, oh, wow. Yeah. I can already see the YouTube fucking volume three Guardians is all going to be just. 20 odd fucking mm -hmm. cool. best of. Yeah. I struggle. Guardians 2 makes me cry. Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah. Oh, really though. Guardians yeah. 2 fucks me up hard. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I have a very similar situation with my dad. So oh, it ruins man. me every time. Um, oh, fuck. <laughs> I, I had a hard time watching Thor 11 Thunder for the first time. Oh mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. And I didn't, I, didn't, I talked about it before um, too, where I didn't cry about it, but um, we, we went in, and I, and I already understood the premise. Mm -hmm. Like I already knew what was going on because Mia's a huge fan of it. Mm -hmm. And we sat down and the movie begins and Mia's like, hey, I don't know if I need to warn you about this, but like she has like terminal cancer. Mm -hmm. And part of me is like, oh yeah, I know. As in like she was informing me as if I didn't know. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I'm like, oh, you're telling me because my wife had it. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, like she put, yeah. she she made the connection at the yeah. end, right as the movie began. <laughs> and I was like, and you're like, Oh, and it's like, dun, 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 yeah. I was like, how do I feel about that? I don't know. Um, that was a hard time. Oh, and yeah. watching the third episode or fourth episode of Last of Us. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. the one with the the husbands. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I watched. No. I, I know we talked about it on this podcast, but I forgot, it? and yeah. I kind of fuck man, that destroyed me. Very mm -hmm. similar thing with with my wife. It was tough. I watched it. And I had like a little routine where I'd watch it like Sunday night after everyone's gone. So it was like 1 a.m. <laughs> already an emotionally compromised position of being so up so late. Yeah. And I watched that and uh, people would be like, hey, you want to watch this like this show together? I was like, no. Mm -hmm. Like I, I'll watch the two episodes before and the ones after that. Yeah. But if you don't want to watch that one, you're on your own. Mm -hmm. I'm not, I can't do that again. Yeah. It was very good, but it was. The show's very good. It's, yeah. hard, it's hard, hard to watch, but Doobie it's, it's good. Jorking my tears or whatever. Yeah, really, really. Banger episode. There's all a di way. there's always such a fucking difference though that I feel that when when it's when you watch something like that and it's something that connects to you a little bit yeah. and it's just fun to kind of like find out like why did this make me cry? Yeah. Is mm -hmm. it that I like that trope? Because for the most of the time that's what it is for me. It's just like yeah. I just like that trope. I think that's cool or I think that's a sweet moment. I think that's yeah. it. But then when when you're watching it and you're like this is making me emotional and then you realize because it's happened to you before, yeah. it's so different. Yeah. It is huge. Actually, it's like, it is crazy. Yeah. Um, the newest episode of Attack on Titan. That yeah, one's fuck, fucking yeah. 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 sobbing. The, the hour and a half. Yeah. yeah. We watched it again with you two and you guys were sitting on the couch like, well, that's not okay. And we were like, <laughs> 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 so fucking 
Oh, We've yeah. not gotten to it, but they they did bring up a good point. The edge of it, the end of edge runners is, yeah, it's rough too. Yeah, you know, I've heard. You know, I, I don't know, know, else, know a, a, edge runner has like that's the thing we were talking about where it's like there's a certain part in the in the series you're like okay stop. Yeah, Cause we, it, cause we until, stopped cause there because until you can complete it, mm-hmm. you shouldn't finish it. Mm-hmm. Like you shouldn't like you can binge if you're gonna binge watch the whole thing, binge watch it. But if you're gonna watch it, watch it to like like the sixth episode and then stop. Yeah. Don't go any further than that. The the spoilers for like the part where with, with Maine, mm-hmm. and then stop, and then hopefully finish Maine to the end on on at least two sittings. But it is it yeah. it is a cyberpunk story through and through. Hell yeah. We we stopped where you guys said we should stop, and I think I'm good. Oh my god. There's oh, like, there's like eight birds. Oh, they're all showing up. They're like wow, hey. that's crazy. There's tons of birds. Babies. Yeah. Um, wow. Um. I saw a clip of Ava the other day. Let me watch that. Yeah. yeah. I would like to very much. We got, we've got a, a lot. reference to it in the Chainsaw Man. I think. Yeah. Oh. That's cool. Yeah. This, that's cool. It, it's, it's everywhere. Yeah. yeah. It's it is, cra- it is so yeah, everywhere. Like, yeah. And the worst part is like, we've not even gotten to the, so like the main thing, we've not even gotten to the part where Ava like opens the can and you're like, here's everything now. Yeah. Like yeah. we're still working in it. Yeah. yeah. And then at, about halfway through it changes and it doesn't stop changing. It just ramps right up to the ceiling. Crazy. It's insane. Crazy. Yeah. Oh, Vox Machina made me cry. Yeah. yeah. Two parts made me cry. But it was always never like a sad cry. It was like a, it was me sitting there remembering watching that when I was watching it on, in their stream. Yeah. And then seeing it be recreated. And it was just so awesome that I was emotionally brought to tears because it's Killbox. And, yeah. um, Killbox and when, when Pike shows up at the end of season one. Those two moments fucking it gives just, me goosebumps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And Thinking it's it's it. like it's that kind of cry where it's yeah. like I get goosebumps and I'm just like I'm so overwhelmed. Yeah. Like yeah. it's just oh, it just takes over. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I wanted to read something about to find it. That's mm-hmm. kind of how Tears of the Kingdom made me cry. That's yeah. that was the emotion I felt. Yeah, yeah. it's not necessarily it. sad. It's no, just not really, sad. Just yeah. so over mo- uh, yeah. overwhelmed with emotion that I, yeah, it just just wells up. Mm-hmm. Crazy. Oh. <laughs> Toy Story. The end of Toy Story three. Yeah. Yeah. All, all the whole the whole ending. The part the part where they're about to get incinerated never never mm-hmm. doesn't make me cry. I can watch that isolated from the movie and I'll cry. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Um, I wanted to because there's a a famous quote from Wes Anderson who uh-huh. watched Avon, and then he describes it. He says this Japanese cartoon. That is very difficult to describe. I may not sound that great if I tried anyway. It was 24 episodes and we watched them all in less than a week because you start, you want to believe that it's real. Uh, it could spawn something like Scientology. Oh. <laughs> That's the full <laughs> quote. <laughs> That's always how I hear people talk about it. Yeah. I, I, never normal. It's always like, it's always so crazy shit. <laughs> yeah, it goes nuts. Scientology. Wow. I'm I'm excited because I can't uh, because there's so much of it like yeah like when I was watching Tuck and Time I'm like "Mm." Mm yeah Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and I can't wait because when I get to the points where (laughs) Ava does the thing and you're like oh oh, oh, you're like yeah yeah that's the thing they're 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 connected Mm -hmm. they're a thing they are connected I already there's already some connections there's already some I'm like I see you I see it where is his mom (laughs) that was what we left off on (laughs) was. I think I know where his mom is. <laughs> <laughs> I think I know. It got to the it got to the point where we we're at where it was like a few episodes before, and I was like, "Craig, where's his mom?" And you were like, and that was "I funny can't too. say." And that was funny too because you said um, at the beginning of the show when they are in the fluid, yeah. you're like, "Oh, that's like when you're a baby." Yeah, and that's like how you're in the womb. And then and we Craig got in the like, car together <laughs> after that, and I was like. I think that's his mom. <laughs> <laughs> um, Lawrence the Zero asks, what character did you accidentally make when starting a campaign and only realized midway? For example, I made a half-elf hex blade that turned out to have a story arc exactly like Sephiroth from Final Fantasy VII. Despite <laughs> <laughs> not being me. <laughs> Sorry, uh, some, Sephiroth being a half... Uh, oh, not a half-elf. I thought you said halfling. Um, it broke my brain. <laughs> Despite uh, his sword's 13 feet tall, he's three feet. Yeah, you can't reach it. You gotta put it on the ground and go yeah, pick it up. Yeah. <laughs> um, despite not being the intention of me or my DM. 
Mm. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Wow, that that's hard ass. I think um, that's a hard ass thing to fall into. <laughs> that's a hard ass thing to oh, stumble into Sephiroth. Made Sephiroth. <laughs> oh, that's so cool though. <clears throat> um, I I do it I do it backwards. I know what I'm gonna be inspired by, and I don't. I tend to not accidentally fall into it. I go, I'm using this as inspiration and not gonna tell anybody. And if they pick up on it, then cool. But um, yeah, my, I, I I tend to just pick my inspirations ahead of time so I already know what they are so I don't accidentally start playing something that I, I didn't want to play. So, um, for example, uh, Tara is um, very inspired by, like, um, uh, Edward Elric. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. Um, uh, there's, a little bit of, there's a little bit of Finn from yeah. Adventure Time in there, though she's just not as pure as him. And then um, there's a, it's not the character of Annie Landhart from Attack on Titan, but there's aspects of her that I really liked that I definitely took inspiration from. It was mm-hmm. like, I like these three and I know that I, this is kind of the idea when I want to play and I'm going to like morph it into something mm-hmm. that I know I'm going to like and then be able to kind of like, like play into those tropes that I already like without like being something fucking else. Mm-hmm. No. Uh, I accidentally made uh, Zuko and Azula with Philip and Marcia. <laughs> but I had never even well, seen Avatar. We watched And Avatar then we watched Avatar and I was I like, I see why you say that now. Yeah. It is uh, yeah, sort of similar. Yeah. Similar. There were episodes where we'd come back from it and you'd be like, God fucking damn it. Yeah. He has lightning? And I'm like, yeah, dude. Yeah, now you understand. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think uh, my character for Spelljammer is going to be a little bit of Princess Bubblegum. But just a little oh, bit. Yeah. This is the episodes where you go, is she kind of... I've, Evil? I've I've been doing a little deep dive on some stuff, and I'm like, yeah, mm. yeah. I already have my spelljammer character doesn't isn't really inspired from anything. Yeah, no, I don't think so. <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> it just really with the hat. <laughs> <laughs> the, it's, 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 it's it's the dread thing with just a mustache. The mustache? Is it Zove? Zove. <laughs> uh, Zove. I don't I don't know if I've ever done that, but I will say Branch is one to one ripped. Oh, like, really? like, like, yeah, like almost one to one from from, from from fucking Naruto. No, <laughs> it's not Sasuke, but it, but it, but it, but it is their teacher, uh, Kakashi. Very, very similar because that was like when we were talking about it with Colton. I we were like, well, I felt like Lazarus had a lot of like front seat time. I want to like be as far in the back as I can be, mm-hmm. and I want to like just kind of coast along. I want my story to be over. I don't want to like talk about, I mean like there's stuff to be revealed in the show, I guess, but mm-hmm. like, I don't, I don't want to be like a demon from my past to show up now to deal with it. Like I, right. it's about yeah. them three, then not me. Mm-hmm. So it's just <laughs> almost one to one ripped. So <laughs> that's great. Which kind of how I feel like Nard has always been. It's always been about the three kids mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. their teachers is just the one kind of like, Oh, that's cool. Or seeing make sure they don't stumble into like weird paths. Well, that's really neat. But I'm yeah. sure Colton ate that up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We were both like that. And I was like, yeah. 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 <laughs> so I would not say it's inspired cause it's just, you know, copy your homework and make it a little different. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Of course. I definitely, I, 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 I feel that as well. Yeah. Um, uh, um, there was there were two characters that really inspired Damon, and I know one of them. I can't remember the other. It was a recent thing that we watched, and I was like, "This also inspired Damon." And I can't. The guy from Breath Fortnite. of the Wild. From what? Breath of the Wild. The guy from Breath of the Wild. What yeah, guy? you said one of the yeah. The Gorons? I, thank you, thank you. Yes, the the Goron champion. Yeah. The Daruk. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. yeah. Daruk and Winston. From Overwatch. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was one of my inspiration. I see. <laughs> um, yeah. Cool. What if um uh Eugene is a lot like uh Daredevil? Yeah. Uh and we made a lot of I don't know if this is intentional, we made a lot of jokes about Kasira being Levi. <laughs> yeah. But that was just because he had to jump a bunch. Yeah. <laughs> he had to do, he and did he jump a lot. Extra attack, yeah. So we were like, he's spinning. He's spinning. <laughs> um, <clears throat> all right. I'll hit our last question here and then we'll all go. Roger Dodger. A jor- yeah. Or nuts or whatever the fuck that thing was. And peanuts. Sorry. Jor- jork- we're going to go jork our peanuts. <laughs> um, I got to pick a good one. Talk pick about something. Pick a good one. Um, mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I had really good watermelon earlier. 
you know that's rare it's the time especially as I was like it's always about it's oh. either oh i actually ate it and it was frozen all year yeah or oops i missed the window and now it's mealy because yeah. it's, it's not it's not quite in season these are the ones that they picked last yeah um that that's special though i don't i don't, I don't I, that's the weird thing when i lived in utah i didn't realize how much i took the valley and like farmers mm-hmm. for granted and then i came back and i was like holy crap it does taste different oh, yeah like, everything is like yeah. there's still dirt on this one yeah in utah there's not dirt on anything yeah. and i'm like yeah, oh it's like vacuum sealed yeah, yeah. yeah they, 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 um, they bought this from somewhere else yeah uh-huh. well, it wasn't from someone's house a yeah. little bit of tahini <laughs> mm. yeah it's yummy uh, so Dathan Husel asks, what do you think your witch-like character's favorite Disney movie would be? Um, <laughs> I've never seen this movie, so I don't know if it fits. <laughs> but I feel like Branch would like The Hunchback of Notre Dame. You've never yeah. seen it No. Wow. But I think there's a part where the villain blows up like a church. And he's mm-hmm. in the, the, the thing. I think that He falls could, into fire. He does. The villain or Hell The Hunchback? Fire. The hunchback does not fall into fire. <laughs> I was like, ooh, falls into the fire. Villain. The villain does. Oh, see, yeah, yeah. I think that's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think it's hard ass. That movie's awesome. I don't, I don't think I've ever seen it. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like it's Lazarus would like Lilo and Stitch. <laughs> I don't know why. It just feels like, oh. <laughs> yeah. I like that one. <laughs> the a funny animal. <laughs> he has a gun. He's from space. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That is kind of like Lazarus, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're right. Fucking... Bring me an angel. They made him in a in the snow. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Ah! They made him in a bat. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Yeah. Um, I think Tara probably likes Mulan or I think any Disney movie? Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> the Mighty Ducks. The Mighty Ducks. High school musical two. Rock. <laughs> The goofy movie. Yeah, the Dude, goofy, the goofy movie. is good. Oh, um, um, you know, I'm only thinking Disney Renaissance. You're right. There's a larger. Uh, I don't know if there's a larger thing here. Should we pull from that? Uh, the Great Mouse Detective. Yeah. Who, stop, stop. Marvel. Stop. <laughs> oh no. Okay, we're really yeah. expensive. Star Wars <laughs> <Yeah>. one. <laughs> Iron, Iron Man three. Iron Man three. <laughs> <laughs> by acquisition <laughs> that's still Sony technically yeah. <laughs> um, what about what would Mark I said it the great mouse detective. detective come on that's just your favorite he's a detective he, yeah, it fits he, he, he is you're dumb mm-hmm. you're stupid um, I feel like there's a good, there's a one I could pick here that would be real good the great mouse detective could be which light yeah, you're right. Really, because though. gotta f- help a little girl find her dad, mm. and the dad mouse. Pretty sure he has a big old mustache, so mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. he could be Zoe. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He could be Zoe. That's true. Yeah, that's true. I I'm completely drawing a blank on Disney movies. I can't think of any of them. Her dad's name's cool. I'm saying Zoe. 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 Zoe's cool. Yeah, it is. That's pretty cool. It's really funny just to see her in a mustache. Yeah. Like, like, what the fuck? What the fuck? What if man just got the prophecy wrong yeah. a little bit? Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> that was giving me a huge Minish Cap vibes. Because yeah. in Minish Cap, you, that's in the Zelda game, you like shriek and you get, become mm-hmm. a little guy. Yeah. Yeah, it's really that's cool. Fun. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What? Mm-hmm. You're Tara, right? Uh, uh, Tangled. Oh yeah, done. What's it going? Easy. Brave. Easy. That's also just my favorite. So I mean, maybe. So it's called Brave. Brave. Yeah, it's called yeah. Brave. 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 Brave one. It's Pixar though. Oh, is it? But it's it also Disney. it's Disney. It's Pixar. Uh, it's, Pixar. Yeah. it's all the Pepsi, Cola, Comcast. I know. I know. Yeah. <laughs> healthcare system. Someday Disney will own us all, and yeah. it won't matter anymore. <laughs> Big Mouse. Big Mouse. Tangled's awesome though. Tangled is I love awesome. That movie. I've mm-hmm. watched that movie multiple times throughout the years. Oh, I that know, movie like, will make me cry. Movie. I feel like we, we that movie that movie makes me cry. Yeah. I feel like the other day you had something playing on your your Spotify, and I was like, the song goes fucking hard. You know, it was like, from, Tangled. from Tangled, and I was like, yeah, that movie's crazy. That's that I was playing uh, my terror playlist. Yeah. That's oh. all. That's on it's our the playlist. Kingdom, the Kingdom yeah, Dance. Yeah. There you the go. Kingdom Dance. Yeah. Because I was like, this is whimsical Faye Wildy, yeah. and also it's it's kind of fitting of her, and that's that's. It sounds like The Sims a little. 
the the very beginning when it goes do 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 do. Yeah, she always says it sounds like The Sims. It does. Um, yeah. But people understand. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 my head hurts. <laughs>